Jennifer, what do you think about tournament expansion in 96? I don't like it one bit. I feel like if everybody can get in, it doesn't make it as special. There, there's not, if everybody can get in, then what's the point of the regular season? What's the point of having the conference tournament? You seem disappointed, but I, I, I don't like it. I don't think everybody's getting in. I mean, look, I, I love college basketball. We watch all the games all the time. But let's be honest about it. Like when we get to March, there is such an excitement around. Like everybody starts paying attention to all these different teams. And for me, if we can extend that excitement a week or some extra games, why not? I mean, it is about money as well, right? For these schools, these leagues. Hopefully it could be about money for these players as well as we continue to evolve it. And that's inevitably where it's gonna go. Look, I don't mind it, I like it. When it was 16, it went to 32. And people were up in arms, hey, it's gonna ruin the tournament. It went from 32 to 64. Oh, that's too many teams. And then it went to 68, you know what? We still have a great tournament. Here's the thing that's interesting. The landscape of college basketball is continually changing. It's just year to year it's changing. So we need to stay ahead of the curve, or at least the, the powers to be need to stay ahead of the curve to, to look forward. Maybe not now, 96 is not the number. I can tell you that much. But incrementally, if you add teams, you're looking at these super conferences, the ACC's got 18, the Big Ten's got 18, the Big 12 and the SEC's got 16. It is about access. If we want to keep the tournament the way it is in terms of having the little guys in, if they're going to be included, then you know what? These huge super conferences, these mega conferences, you can't just have 16. There's just too many good teams compiled together, expanding it. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I think you do it incrementally as the landscape changes. So just like it's happened throughout the history of the NCAA tournament. Never underestimate the NCAA's capacity to do something stupid. And if they did this, <laughs> it would be profoundly stupid. When anyone says more teams need access to the tournament, every team has the same access to the tournament now. All you have to do is win your conference automatic bid, which is against your peers with a group of teams that you have chosen to be among. And every team is in the tournament already. All you have to do is win your conference tournament. You're already in the tournament. And what, what are we gonna do now? We're gonna go to 96 and we're gonna print the bracket out first on legal paper, then on a, a roll of toilet paper and just roll it out. It doesn't make any sense. This is the, the one thing that everybody's forgetting is this is not an access tournament. It's a national championship event. You should have to do something hard to get in. And if you think it's too hard, then Division II is wide open. I just don't understand this. Why would, you, why would you mess with this? Like, they always say when it's a rule that benefits the players, well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Well, okay, why doesn't that apply to this? That, this doesn't make any sense. Like, we went, to the, we went to the first four, which honestly not that many people pay attention to. The, the tournament really starts when we get to the 64-team bracket. You want to add on to that? If it's just about money, then say so. But this business about access is nonsense. But is Everybody has Jay, access Jay, Jay, now. If you, if, it is you about want, money. if you want inclusiveness in terms of winning a championship, so you got all these one-bid leagues. If you took 16 one-bid leagues and that was the first four and played those guys in where they played into the bracket, why would that be so bad? And then you maybe exactly. get more of the better teams from the power conferences that are beating each other up. And by the way, these power conferences are only going to get bigger. They're only going to get bigger. This is going to be the day that maybe the ACC and the Big East become one. That could happen someday. And they could have two divisions. They could have their own MTEs. We had that conversation last night at dinner. There's gonna be change in the landscape of college athletics and college basketball is gonna be part of that landscape and you've gotta be forward thinking. You can't just sit in the past. They didn't do it when it was 32. They didn't do it with 64. And the tournament is still incredible. And, and, and the season's starting later. Because your football championship is gonna to go to when? It will be the third week in January is when they play the championship game. The and they're already excited. talking about expanding that, which is dumb. Uh, you know, I mean, unless they're going to take away conference championship games, but that's an entirely different, uh, different thing. You'd have to take away conference tournaments if you want to make this I, bigger. I it do doesn't make they, any sense. I don't think so. I either. do hope they make just, more money because I hope the players can actually participate in that rev share. They already are. Well, in not, in rev not, not, in revenue, share. not in revenue yeah, share. Yeah, they're not right. paid not by Not in their revenue share. Yeah. I, just, I just think there's something special about being in an exclusive group. I think it means more when you have to work, like you said, to get in. Reese, when's, when's the last time you've been to, like, a nightclub? You know, nightclub. Uh, I don't frequent places where debauchery and lewd and lascivious <laughs> behavior could be a, 
Uh, Do they have nightclubs in Connecticut? They have nightclubs players. in Connecticut. I'll tell you one thing. Reese Davis, nightclubs Reese in Davis ain't working to get in nightclubs, baby. I'll tell you that. That's no, right. Nightclubs. I, if I went in, I just got I just got back from one to come here. <laughs> just, uh, just let me remind you, if Billis and I go into nightclubs. We don't go in through the roof. We're in the we're in the back door in the special section. See, <laughs> I'm just saying, not everybody can get a section at the club. There's only so many sections, and you want to be in the section when you go into the club. It Sometimes means you only get in that section because of the hype, not reality. 